Hi, good evening and a warm welcome to today's episode of Wake Up Women, a wonderful conversation series that's really focusing on women who are taking charge of their finances. And we are bringing week on week a wonderful community member who has taken charge of her finances and uh, she comes here to really share her journey her story so that women out there who may be holding back because they have fears, they have concerns, you know, they don't trust the process or maybe they don't even trust themselves so that all these women might be uh, inspired by listening to regular women, women who come from no finance background, come in and take charge of their finances. So thank you so much, everybody who is logging in to listen to our special guest this evening. We have Gur Sahiba who is coming in from Delhi. So let me bring her onto the screen. Warm welcome, everybody. I can see Priya, Gur Sahiba is already here, Suma. And Radhika Mukta, thank you all for joining. Let's bring Gur Sahiba, okay? One moment. Sending a request to Gur Sahiba. And if you are Gur Sahiba's friend or family, then do say hi in the comment. We would love to really welcome you. Just waiting for her to join us and she will tell us a little bit about herself and we will really, really um, listen to her journey and get ready to be inspired by her. So Gur Sahiba, have you received my request? And in the meantime, while Gur Sahiba is joining us, this is also an invitation to all our fabulous women who have logged in. If you are new to Women on Wealth, then uh, about what we have to offer to all women out there. And the link to join the webinar is in the bio. And we have Gur Saiba joining us. Okay, so she's setting her herself up okay yeah I, great I, hi and warm welcome great to see you great to have you here thank you so much yeah great to see you too awesome <laughs> so let's begin Gur Saiba. we have so many women who have joined in to listen to you and um, please begin by sharing a little bit about yourself and what really made you come in to learn about finance so let's begin. Okay, so uh, I'm basically a homemaker and uh, recently just uh, on a journey of becoming a life coach. And before that, uh, I had studied finance. I mean, I do have a finance background. I'm in the same finance. But then I had left after my marriage and, uh, and I literally didn't know anything. Uh, like how to actually manage my finances. I mean, you studied economic finance, but to really, uh, you know, to uh, how to manage your own money, you never learned that. So I think uh, when I joined this program, this was the key learning point for me. So uh, to learn more about how to handle money on a daily basis, how to do savings. Got that, got that. So, so Guru Saiba, I'm just going to check that we are, you are able to hear me because your video is stuck. Are you on your Wi-Fi or on your phone network? Do check that because uh, your video is stuck at my end. I could re I could get the audio. What about our audience? Were you able to, are you able to see her? Are, are you the because I'm on a Wi-Fi. I'm not okay. sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're, uh, I can hear you, but I can't really. Uh, your video is sort of stuck for me. Uh, would you like to join back? I think it's okay. Is now it you're now? you're back on again. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Okay. Yes. So I think it's a great start to your journey. 
Um, I mean, at least for our listeners that you are a homemaker. I know you have lovely kids as well. So you have been doing this uh, on this uh, very important life role as well as a mother, right? And uh, somebody who comes with having learned at least a couple of subjects on finance, but the disconnect you experience from having learned it um but not being able to implement it right exactly. and managing exactly. money was what you're looking for go ahead exactly like you know in school you're not taught how to actually handle your money i mean as students i think it's really important even if you're getting a pocket money how to actually spend it save it invest it you know it's very important so uh, like i had like a, a lot of learning here First, I did the money gym. It was quite enlightening, and then I did the stock course. So I'm like now confident about mm-hmm. handling my own finances, and I'm happy doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on that! And so, what are some of the key, maybe, uh, habits, key or uh, mindset shift that you may have had to bring about to learn this and actually do it in your life? could you share a little more on that yes so um so i started doing money in money out like keeping a regular note but sometimes i forget now but initially i was really doing it i was at it but um, yes yeah, so it gives you a sense how much you are spending on what and how much you need to control where you need to control and where you can control and then save and invest So investment was something really new to me. So you know, usually my only form of investment was FDs. So which I really learned was not beneficial enough. I mean, if you want to uh, grow your money, grow your wealth, you need to invest in other forms. So yes, that was quite a learning for me. got that awesome so tracking your finances then really realizing that whatever i was doing the traditional investments um you know they're not the best options for the goals we have all right exactly. awesome awesome and what is that financial you know future that you also want to create for yourself which is also i'm sure one of the reasons why you even thought of no i need to skill up so what's the financial future you are building Yeah, so you know, I think this came at a very right point in my life where I was wanting to become something, and then you know, eventually have my own income. And now I exactly know what to do with my income. You know, how how to save it, invest it, and spend. So um, yes, so so I have goals. Um, how uh, like where for what. I want to invest, like kids' education, like future, you know, your retirement, and all that. And it gives you a sense of security that with the kind of investments now I know that knowledgeable investments I can do, I can have a secure future. And I wow. also started my emergency fund, so that was also like a relief. I'm not at it; like I still need to build little by little. but uh, yeah it's still on the way yeah got that and uh, you know what i what you just mentioned about the emergency fund a lot of us like i will include myself i did not have an emergency I, that concept of saving uh, for an emergency or even how much to have that was exactly. not present to me I, you know you you all we i think we generally listen to people say save for rainy days you need to have some money but how much where what is is there a systematic way of building it all that information is missing so i'm glad that you are also building it and i think after covid you realize that it's so important to have an emergency fund i mean the importance of emergency fund is really you know there because you need to have otherwise education your normal expenses or prices like this you need it absolutely and one of the key learnings i think from covid was also that 
If you used to save for three months, now you got to save for one year and have that much exactly. more money as emergency. <laughs> That's why I'm saying I haven't, you know, reached in one year. My husband and wife calculating that this is the emergency fund we need. Seeing a regular expenditure. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm glad. And you know, you mentioned your husband, so which means that you have a supportive, loving husband who is also on board. And you guys are talking about money at home. So, what is his in input? What is his review on how you who you have become now? You know, uh, ever since we got married, he always used to tell me, "Invest in stocks. Invest in stocks." You know. Uh, Start investing. You know, I don't have the time to do it. You do it. So you always used to tell me, but it never interests me because I didn't have the knowledge and I didn't want to risk money. So now I know that I have the knowledge and without being scared of investing, I can invest. You know, because I know what I'm doing. And the best part is that uh, there's such a supportive community that you have. And there are amazing women in the community where they are just there to support. Any question you have, you just write down. You will get ten answers. And uh, you know, you are always there. You are like at it always. Uh, wherever I'm stuck, you will just ping me and say, "Okay, this is how you do it." So yeah, I mean, um, that way is uh, the community has been very supportive, and uh, you know, and the research work they are doing and. Uh, it's 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 very positive and it gives you a lot of confidence in what you're studying and you're relating to it. Nobody is giving you advice. So when I talk to people, they come and give me advice. I say I will have to look at that. You know, I can't just take your advice that you buy it. But I will first do my research and then think of investing in what you are saying. Hmm. Hmm. Got that. Thank you so much. Because I can hear that there is a lot of your own effort into this, yeah. right? Because now you you're not alone. You have a structure. Um. There's a step by step way you have found, and then the uh the presence of other women, the community support, right? So yeah. and I and I know that you're also quite active in the the stocks group because i often see you also ensuring that the group comes together to do the study and you know for the team i mean i i i am not very regular at studying but at least i to attend the meeting so that i know what's happening something's going in my ear and i'm touch in touch with it i'm in mean, touch with it you know that's what yes yeah and that's why that's why community works you know i am somebody who who also needs a group of people uh, and i am more of that you know okay let's do it together kind of a person so perhaps we are exactly. similar kind of people like especially maggi and suma and everybody like you know i mean they've come from different walks of life i mean I, like we hardly know each other but they they are always there for each other like this money thing is always connecting all of us together so you know yes Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, what you said, just said about you know the money. That's the goals that we have. The vision that each woman has is you know I want to build wealth, and I want to ensure the women around me are building wealth, right? <laughs> and I tell you something like you know once you've done the course, you know about stocks, you know so much about money, uh, you feel so confident. And when even the men are having conversation in the house. You you can budget and you I I I think I know like a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that confidently. <laughs> wow, well, well, I I can see that you're totally enjoying this process. Yeah, yeah. Kudos to you for that. Yes, and uh, let's let's take a moment and say hi. If you have your family members and friends also, if they're logged in, then do uh, say yeah, hi to all of them. There's Arpit and uh, yeah, there are a lot of people. Jasmine is there. A lot from my. I, I'm sure. I hope all of these people get inspired. And Suruji is there. 
my mom was supposed to come <laughs> she's like i will come i think she is she missed joining me <laughs> but yeah i i think i've taken everybody's name here and i hope everybody logs on to women on well and uh, and uh, you know it's a great community to be in and uh, to know more about your finances and how you can handle them i think it's the best place to be in because all the women are so supportive priyanka and sheetal they are like role models to us <laughs> so even prema and everybody everybody is the community yes and now you are going on to inspire more women around you right you never know who's going so. to listen to you. yes yes absolutely and uh, i think this is the right moment for you to really um, share from your heart what message do you have for women who are listening to you and who are maybe sitting on the fence or women who will go on to listen to you in the future what message do you have for them yeah so uh, i think uh, especially women who are earning now or they have some sort of income and they want to see learn how to invest and manage their own finances it's really important for you to have this skill um and you know it it won't only help you uh, manage your finances but if they have children as well you can you can like train them also like at a very young age like we didn't know at that age and they can start investing when they are in their 18s teens and you know they would know and they can create well in like i've started to create now and they can start to create much earlier in their life yeah absolutely that's such a powerful message that when you as they say when you educate a woman she she goes on to educate an entire na- nation um and uh we are in a very very good place in the sense that you know we are all women we are all learning and doing ourselves i think the most important by the way learning and we are doing it doing it ourselves yeah. we are practically doing it um and uh, children children uh, watch and then they uh, take out the lesson from our life right so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so my husband always says he's he's always like I don't have time to invest because then you invest fine also. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> got that yeah. so congratulations on having come this far we have a long way to go but the best part is we are not alone right yeah. so beautiful so lots of love to you your family from all of us here and uh, so proud of uh, so proud of the journey and uh, again thank you so much for the time you've taken out to come and share and inspire other women it means a lot to all of us thank you gur sahiba thank you sheetal it's a pleasure to be a part take care all right Bye. and for everybody do come in and take charge of your finances take care bye bye everyone bye